I'm at a spot here in the, uh, the New South Wales Snowy Mountains. This is a new stretch of river that I've never fished before. Stunning piece of river, absolutely gorgeous. And uh, yeah, it's like a New Zealand river this. It's extremely low, clear, big fish cruising in the shallows and cruising in pools. And we're going as slowly and stealthily as we, as we can, but we're still spooking loads of fish. It's, it's amazing how these big rainbows can be almost invisible against the bottom in probably only a foot or two of water. You can't see them until they move. So, good fun, but challenging. Yep. Oh, another one. Man, they're invisible, aren't they? Oh, I see two of them up there. I can see two fish. They're kind of hanging around each other. There's three, actually. No. know we're here. <laughs> the educated fish. Well, yeah, there's been a lot of pressure on them. Been a lot of people walking past them. And we saw fish kind of spook up this little run here when we arrived. So I might need to fish a little further ahead, I think. Spot. Just a big rock formation that's um, on, the on the bank. Yeah, he's just ahead of that, is he? Just ahead. Okay. How far out? Oh, about there. <laughs> yeah. That was a little less, wasn't it? Nope, you got it, you got it. Oh! <laughs> oh. You were right, that was the perfect cast. I don't think he ate it very well though, because he must have spat it out real quick. I'm going to go smaller and a different colour. Go this little CDC olive F fly. See if we come up for that. It's a little bit more subtle. see any back in that spot just at the moment but that's not to say that they're not there that's on top of them and just behind them they're looking up though oh get careful 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 he's having a look yeah he had a look, yeah, look. And there's five fish there there's the only little fellas I think we need to focus on fish upstream, maybe in moving water. I think the fish that have spooked out of this pool have shot up the pool and scared everything else. Oh, I pulled the hook. <laughs> I felt him. <laughs> oh. Strike two. Yeah. Peachy. Felt his way. Oh, yes, there's there's eight down there. In that same slot? Yeah. 
just goes to show if you can get a shot at a fresh fish, they'll eat. Oh, there goes one. Try one over in there. Try and hit a few of the patches that are maybe not spooked. <laughs> it's blowing my fly straight downstream again. I have to punch it out a little bit more. into the wind with an 18 foot leader. It's really hard to land it delicately without straightening everything out. Yeah, that, that, a fish had a look at that. I just saw this, the, the rainbow side of him. So he actually looked at it. Man, there's fish. Oh, you're coming back in into his hold, one going downstream. Yeah, one, big, big fish, big fish. Yeah. They're all fruit. <laughs> <laughs> My God! So what have we got to do to catch these guys? I think you've got to be bring Jared back here and frustrate him. <laughs> That's a good cast. Oh, look at that! See that? Fish just jumped on the other side over there <laughs> at a mayfly. At least we know there's one over there that's not spooked. Wind! Was he a bit higher than that, was he? Oh, 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 oh did you oh. see that? Come on! <laughs> Too late with the strike. Man. Wow. This is what they call technical fishing. Yep. And so far, I haven't been technical enough. <laughs> So this is very technical dry fly fishing. We've got super clear, low water, lots of fish spread all through the pool. And the problem is that every time we spook a fish, it's spooking all the other fish, it's running up the pool. So we're just moving up a little bit, trying to find fresh fish all the time. There've been a couple of rises. I've had two or three takes now, but haven't been quick enough on the strike. They're just eating it super quickly and then spitting it out again um, which is quite challenging because we're having to fish at a fair bit of distance to hit fresh fish we've got a wind blowing downstream which is making it really hard i've got an 18 foot dry fly leader and a tiny little dry fly on casting into the wind it's very hard to have any sort of accuracy so this is pretty challenging i gotta say hopefully we might be able to get one here at some stage so far, I haven't been good enough to get him. That's almost spawning behaviour though, isn't it? Yeah. Like fish that big would, would not tolerate other fish yeah. in the I water. I can't believe the number of fish in here. I can see at least 12 in there. Yeah.
I reckon there are fish in there. And that's going right over the top of them. subtle little mayfly nymph on with a copper bead, nothing too bright or flashy because I think these fish are probably going to run a mile if they see too much bling. But I'm just going to try nymphing. There's a deep sort of drop into this pool here. Let's try running a, a few nymphs through that and see if there's something sitting down a bit deeper that we're not getting. Go on. No, I think it was. I thought I saw silver. I thought I saw a flash. Yeah. That was you got one. Finally. Bigger fish there, <laughs> two other fish swimming around in there with him. <laughs> yes, See the other fish? Yes, yes. Not one of the big ones, this guy. Change of technique worked. Yes. Tippet, so I'm not trying to land him too fast. I'm going to play him out a little bit. I can get his head up. one of the small ones. <laughs> There's bigger ones in there than that. There's the little nymph just pinned in the top jaw there. And there we go. Make sure she's good. It's a hen. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Finally. Ah, oh, would have been nice to get one on the dry fly. But, uh, you know, at least we got one. <laughs> I might have another crack in there. Um, there might even be some more fish sitting in that run. I don't know if they'll, don't know if they'll be keen to eat after that. But you never know. We'll give it another shot. Oh, the dip. <laughs> I think that was a different one. Lovely. 
on underwater with these ones. Sure. Just put it underwater, hold it for three or four seconds and let it go. Oh! <laughs> that would be a good plan. <laughs> so much for the underwater release. <laughs> Well, I'm surprised that uh, I got a fish on the next cast in there, but let's see if uh, see if we get any more after that. You never know; they might come back again. Good. Good. How are you? Any luck? Perfect. We just had two and two casts. Yeah, they're some beautiful fish, Certainly are. Here we go. He's pretty colour. Yeah, gee, they're great coloured fish. Maybe that's because they are in a lake spawning mode. Yeah, they they are. Look at the colours on that. That's sensational. What a gorgeous fish. Gosh, it's got bright pink on it, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've got plenty of go in them in this cold water. Alright, fly's out. You can't train a fish to go the right direction, can you? <laughs> oh, awesome. I wanted to go that way. He went that way. <laughs> Probably the one that Sitting down there. There he is. <laughs> don't say it's the same one. I don't know. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> it's definitely a nymphing day. One way to land them. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Let's drop them in there. Ah, oh, yeah, lovely fish. I reckon if we sneak along out to this point and maybe hide behind this rock we might be able to get a good shot at nymphing this run here Oh, did you see that? Yeah. Any idea what he ate? There's looking like little sandfly midge or something. Midges, yeah.
Beautiful, lovely fish. So he was right up in the top of that run, right up in the real skinny stuff. And there were two other fish that spooked out of there with him. <laughs> you wouldn't believe you'd get three good sized rainbows in a tiny little skinny bit of water like that, but it's at the top of this enormous pool. So when you look at all that holding water back there, um, those fish, if they want to get the first crack at the food, would come up into these runs at the top of the pool. And uh, I was expecting I'd get them right here in this, this run that we're standing in. Didn't hear anything in here, but three fish up in that tiny little run. It must be six inches of water up in there. Couldn't see them, <laughs> just cast into it and came up tight. Oh, yep. there goes another oh. one. <laughs> you should under all those, those logs. Did you get him on camera? Yeah. Oh, another one. <laughs> Gee, they're right up the top. I didn't think there'd be any more in there. So you wouldn't expect to find fish in water like that when they've got all this beautiful deep water back here to feed in, would you? But the riffle of the, is the food factory of the river. So this is where the nymphs are, and when the fish want to get the first crack at the food, this is the sort of stuff that they come in, up to and feed. And you often find that that riffle that's right above a really good deep pool with a lot of holding water will generally fish pretty well. I can't think of a more spectacular location than this to wrap up the video. What a spot, hey? Just incredible. Absolutely stunning scenery and stunning river. Beautiful clear water, large fish that you can sight fish to uh, with dry fly or nymph. Um, I missed a few on the dry today, just wasn't fast enough. They were super picky and super tough, those fish on the dry. But once we got up into the faster water at the top of the pool uh, on the nymph, they were certainly catchable and, and a lot easier. And uh, just incredible to see so many quality fish in this water. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Cheers.